Democrat arrests piling up in the state of Indiana as FBI agents have just made two more arrests in connection with an ongoing corruption probe. FBI agents executed arrest warrants at two homes this morning as part of the agency's wide-ranging investigation into public corruption in Muncie. The FBI confirmed that Phil Nichols and Jess Neal were taken into federal custody. Initial hearings are scheduled for Thursday afternoon. Another article from the Star Press notes that Phil Nichols has been a longtime leader in the Democrat Party in Muncie and Delaware County. He is a former Democrat Party chairman and a former city councilman. Phil Nichols is the father of Craig Nichols, a former city building commissioner who was sentenced to two years in federal prison in 2019 after pleading guilty to wire fraud and money laundering. The probe is being referred to as Operation Public Trust has already led to nine arrests, including, we've previously mentioned the arrest of former Mayor Dennis Tyler on public corruption charges. So just this one investigation has already been a major problem for Democrats in the state as Dennis Tyler has been replaced as mayor, and according to the chairman of the Delaware County Republican Party, this is now the first time in 35 years that Republicans have taken back the majority on the city council. At the same time, we've been following some of the other problems for Democrats in the same state, including state rep Dan Forrestal, who dropped his bid for re-election after pleading guilty following his arrest last year. Some of the other separate investigations affecting Indiana Democrats include, in 2017, Democrat Senator Joe Donnelly from Indiana was forced to return campaign cash given to him by Tony Podesta, the brother of John Podesta, Hillary Clinton's former campaign manager, Senator Donnelly finally agreed to return the cash only as the Podesta group essentially had to shut down while they were under investigation for covering up their lobbying work in Ukraine. And we recently discussed here another Indiana Democrat, former Mayor Ron Meir of Michigan City, Indiana, lost his re-election bid recently just after he was indicted on charges of intimidation, false informing, and official misconduct. May be notable as even though Michigan City, Indiana has a relatively low population, Ron Meir did have some influence with Indiana Democrats. He was on the list of 50 mayors who endorsed Pete Buttigieg for president. He also hosted a roundtable of mayors attended by Buttigieg. Those are just a few of the recent problems for Democrats in the state. Moving on to look at more on the latest FBI arrests. The FBI says that both Nichols and Neal remain in custody in Indianapolis. Both were arrested during simultaneous executions of warrants Thursday morning. They are the latest arrests in a multi-year federal investigation into wrongdoing in the city of Muncie. Once more, just highlighting Phil Nichols' longtime influence in the Democrat Party in Muncie and Delaware County, and how he's the father of Craig Nichols, who was sentenced to two years in federal prison last year after pleading guilty to wire fraud and money laundering. Meanwhile, Jess Neal has been a longtime Muncie Police Department officer and investigator. He had served as the professional standards officer for the department, but no longer fills that post. Neal had also worked for then-Delaware County Prosecutor Jeffrey Arnold on a part-time basis as an infraction deferral coordinator. He resigned from his job on Arnold's staff after FBI agents raided Neal's home in September of 2018. That raid was conducted at a Neal home in Yorktown. However, Thursday's arrest of Neal came at a home in West Rex Street in Muncie. 
Court documents stemming from Craig Nichols' federal prosecution described meetings held at Democrat headquarters in 2016 where Phil Nichols reportedly directed others to take steps on his son's behalf. Among other things, authorities said, bogus bids were solicited in an effort to hide crimes Craig Nichols had committed through the bidding process. Of the nine people now charged, Craig Nichols remains the only defendant to date to be convicted and sentenced. Others facing related charges include Muncie Sanitary District officials Nikki Grigsby and Tracy Barton. Another person facing charges in the federal probe is local businessman Jeffrey Burke, who shares business interests with Neil. So how many more officials could be impacted by this investigation that has already taken down former Mayor Dennis Tyler? Democrats obviously not happy with the investigation as Tyler has been replaced by Republican Dan Ridenour. In a previous video from late last year, as this investigation was still escalating, we looked at this quote from Dan Ridenour reacting to the arrest of former Mayor Dennis Tyler. At the time, Ridenour said, quote, Today we have learned of another arrest by the FBI in their ongoing investigation of Muncie city government. While this has become a pattern in our community of late, I am pleased that two weeks ago voters overwhelmingly supported turning the page for a new day in Muncie. My commitment to all Muncie residents is to fulfill the requests our fellow citizens made at the ballot box to shine light on the dark corners of city government, to demand excellence from those who serve our residents, and above all, to operate in an honorable way on your behalf. That is what then-Mayor-elect Dan Ridenour had to say late last year about the arrest of Dennis Tyler. Obviously, this pattern of FBI arrests he referred to at the time is still continuing today. It's so another picture here, back from earlier on in the investigation at the beginning of 2017, showing federal agents leaving Muncie City Hall with boxes full of records from the Muncie Building Commission. An FBI and IRS joint investigation into the Muncie Sanitary District has led to five of these arrests so far. And they add that Muncie's police department, where Neil worked, is also under a federal investigation. And we are still waiting for others who have already been arrested in the probe to be sentenced like Deborah Nicole Grigsby, the former district administrator for the Muncie Sanitary District, who is facing up to 20 years in prison if she is convicted of all charges. Businessman Tony Franklin faces similar charges. Former Mayor Dennis Tyler, meanwhile, is still facing up to 10 years in prison and a quarter million dollar fine. And one more related update recently, the trial for a contractor charged in the Muncie FBI probe has been reset for September. Just last month, this article, U.S. District Court judge had reset for September the trial of a Muncie contractor indicted last May in the federal investigation of then-Mayor Dennis Tyler's administration and the Muncie Sanitary District. Rodney Barber, 51 years old, charged with two counts of wire fraud, conspiracy to commit wire fraud, and making a false statement. Federal authorities allege he paid kickbacks to an unnamed Muncie Sanitary District official, quote, in the form of cash or in the form of check contributions to the Delaware County Democrat Party. Barber's trial had been set to begin March 23rd, but his defense attorney recently asked for a delay, quote, due to the fact that discovery and negotiations are ongoing. The judge granted the request for a continuance and rescheduled the trial for September 28th. Finally, they add some of those charged face restrictions on travel and other activities as they await the resolution of their cases. 
I will continue following this investigation and will follow up here with more updates. Please leave a comment and tell me what you think so far. If you could give this video a thumbs up, click the like button, that's greatly appreciated, and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. I thought I could quickly mention my Twitter page as well. I haven't been promoting this too much, but just in case something happens here on YouTube, at Reality Reader is my name over on Twitter. You can follow me there. And thanks again so much, everybody that has been supporting this channel over on Patreon or through PayPal, patreon.com slash realityreader or paypal.me slash realityreader. Your support helps me keep talking about these issues. I will follow up soon. Thank you.